Welcome back to another Mobile Centrics Tips and Tricks. My name is Derek, and today I'm going to be showing you a repair. Now, the damage that I'm going to be fixing happens more often than it should, and is typically caused by a screwdriver or a tool when working on an iPhone. And that is when one of the rear camera flexes gets damaged. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the flex cable without having to replace the whole camera unit. And it's actually quite simple, simpler than you might think. Let's get into the video. This iPhone 10 has an issue. When we go into the camera and we zoom in at the 2X, it should be switching over to the bottom camera. And if I cover it up, you see that it doesn't switch over and it only goes to 5X. This should go all the way to 10X and it's not, which means there's an issue with that bottom camera. Now this phone has been heavily worked on over the years. But it's clear what happened is during one of one of the many repairs, the cable got damaged to that camera. I'm going to show you how I fix that. All right, I'll disconnect the screen, set it aside, grab PH000, unscrew the bracket, and pop it out. Disconnect the two camera flexes, and remove the camera assembly. And to assist in the repair, I'm going to be using this 4-axis intelligent driver fixture, which will allow me to clamp the camera in place. Let's take it out. And secure the camera module so it doesn't go anywhere. From here, I'm going to take my hot air, lower it to about 200 degrees Celsius. And I've got this thin uh, blade that'll help me scrape out the black glue that's kind of holding on the shield up top. We'll take the temperature up just a little bit, about 220-ish. And we can pop off the shield. And now we can come in and carefully remove the flex cable. It's interesting that this isn't soldered, it's just simply glued on. Kind of unique. All right, now I'm gonna take it under a microscope so we can clean off the adhesive and get a flex soldered back on. And this is the flex that we'll be using, designed specifically for this repair. All right, so I'm gonna carefully take some hot air around, around 200 degrees and using my scraping tool, get at it. Take a moment and hit the like button if you're finding this content useful. And if I clear all of the adhesive, I will have a nice uh, surface to solder to. I'm gonna add some solder paste here. This is 183 solder paste. Take my soldering iron and carefully uh, spread out all the solder to have uniformity across all of the pads. You can kind of see where it's not wanting to stick. There might be a little bit of adhesive uh, residue there. These bigger pads are a little harder to solder to. And here I've got my flex cable. We'll line up the flex with the corresponding pads and add some flex. Now I'm going to carefully go in and tack the edge here, this one on the edge. And then diagonal of it, we're going to go up to the top and line up and solder on the other one just to make sure everything's lined up properly. The solder will pull through those two holes in the flexes. Now I'm going to go over and pull up the solder through all of the holes. 
getting that flex nice and flush against the back of the camera. Now this is probably sufficient, but I like to add a little bit of additional solder to make the job a little bit easier. Just to ensure that I, I've definitely soldered each one of these points down to the back of the camera. And I don't know about you, but I'm a little bit picky and I want to, uh, this is where some of my OCD I guess kicks in, I want to make sure all of those holes are filled. Looking good. Let's clean it up. So now that we've got that soldered on, I'm just gonna cover up all of the joints there with some captain tape. Let's take it out of the clamp and let's go test it in the phone. In it goes. Connect up the cameras. Connect up the proximity sensor, the display flex, digitizer, and now the battery. Let's power it on. All right, let's click on the camera. And now when we click on this, like that we've got a full range up to 10. Everything looking and working good again. All right, so now what we'll do, even though we could just leave it like this, is let's put the shield back. Any glue would really do. I'm gonna go ahead and just put a, a couple little dollops of this cold press adhesive. Similar to how it was done before. And we'll press that on there and call it fixed. Camera back together and zooming all the way in now. So as you've just seen, replacing the flex cable isn't too difficult. Sure, you do need the tools. Most techs should have these tools anyway. Leave a comment below if this is something that you would do, or would you just pay the extra and replace the whole camera unit itself? If you haven't already, like the video on your way out. Thanks a ton for watching. We'll see you in the next video.